you overused the Ordinary's AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. You got burned. Here's what you do. <laughs> See a derm or go to the ER. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. There are certain times you should see a derm and certain times that if it's mild, you might be able to kind of take care of things at home. Hear me out. If you are having an allergic reaction, if your skin is blistering, if it is pink and irritated and not going away, if you are feeling dehydrated and parched and dizzy, go to a derm, go see a doctor. This is a peel that for some people burns and stings and for people like myself, doesn't really have any sensation at all. But everyone's skin is different, which is why it's important to know what to do if you do overuse it. Now, if this is an emergency situation, go to a derm, go see a professional. You don't want lasting scars, damage, hyperpigmentation, etc. But if this is something that you have overused, it's mild, but you have overdone it, this is the protocol that you can use at home to try to take care of and rehab your skin. This bad boy can be too much for some and not enough for others, but if it is too much for you, here's what you gotta do. And please remember to save this video, send it to yourself as an email or as a text, because most likely you're not burning your skin off right now. But if you start to use this, and if it happens, you're going to want to be able to reference this for later. Remember to patch test first. Uh, we'll actually do a video on how to build up to the Ordinary's chemical peeling solution if you're using it for the first time. But have this video on hand so if things do go wrong and if it's not a medical emergency, you know how to get things back in check. Okay, so you're burned. The first thing you want to do is remove this with cool tap water. You just want to flush this area, preferably for about 15 to 20 minutes if you can take kind of like a cool shower. You just want to get all of this acid off the face. If you have an acid neutralizer, that can work. Be careful if you're using other alkaline substances. Again, this is an acid, so we neutralize it with something that's alkaline or basic, but you don't want an exothermic reaction to happen, meaning you don't want something to explode on your face. So using cool water and just kind of rinsing things off gently is the best thing to do. Then you can put on a compress to soothe, but do not rub. Do not rub or scrub or scratch at the face. If you want to, there are these little cotton papers. They're called hanji in Korean, that you can kind of soak those with cold water or just a cold washcloth and hold it to your face, especially if it is stinging or burning. Again, if it's blistering, if it's overwhelming, go to the doctor immediately. Don't risk it. But if it's just this minor irritation and you're like, oof, feeling a little bit flushed, put that cool compress on the face. Do not use ice, do not rub, but just gently hold it there to kind of soothe the area. If you want to, you can also use kind of a cold glycerin-based gel, such as a cold aloe vera gel. Do not use aloe vera directly from the plant. That can have aloe vera latex, and you want to make sure that doesn't cause more irritation. But if you have just basic, you know, vegetable-derived glycerin or, you know, just basic aloe vera gel, which in all honesty is usually glycerin, that's like usually the main ingredient, you can apply that to the face or you can put it in the fridge and then apply it to the face to kind of cool things down. Now, you do not want to use anything occlusive. So don't be using, you know, heavy moisturizers. Don't use CeraVe, don't use Vaseline. You don't want anything that kind of traps heat or any potential acid left over onto the face. Using something lightweight and cooling like glycerin is probably the best bet. Now remember that this stuff can be irritating and when the skin is irritated, your mast cells can create histamine, which can cause itchiness and like rashes. If you're having a rash or an allergic reaction or urticaria, go to the doctor. <laughs> Don't risk it. But if it's just kind of this minor irritation, you could consider calling up a doctor, calling a nurse hotline, calling primary care, and consider taking an over-the-counter NSAID such as Advil or Aleve or even Tylenol. Depends on what other medications you're on, but if you're in pain or if you're worried about histamine, you could take over-the-counter Benadryl. You could take some of these medications to kind of help out. But if you're at the point where you're taking even over-the-counter medication, you might want to consider going to a doctor, going to the primary care, seeing someone even through telehealth. There's like an app called K-Health as well. Just make sure that you're getting taken care of and that it's not too bad. Also, please remember to stay hydrated. Now for the ordinary peeling solution, it's probably not that big of a deal, but if you are blistering, if you got a burn from a chemical peel, if you did the dum dum and someone sold you like straight up 70% TCA peel or glycolic acid online, you put that on your face and you're burning, make sure that you stay hydrated. When you're looking at burn victims. This is the palms rule. This is a large area of the face. And you know, if you over burn your skin or if you blister your skin, it can cause dehydration or even shock if it's bad enough and you did your chest and your face and your back, like it can get bad. <laughs> and there are some horror stories. Now people here are skin intellectual. This is probably not going to cause your face to blister, burn or peel. But I do want to share that doing a TCA peel at home is a bad idea. And we've seen people doing that on YouTube, doing a 70% glycolic peel with no medical training and no supervision at home is a 
bad idea. You should know what to do in an emergency or you should know what to share with a friend. Again, probably not going to happen with this bad boy, but it's better to know and better to be safe than sorry. Assuming that you did not get a second degree burn and assuming that you're just a little bit pink and irritated, you've washed things off, you've put on your cool compress, maybe you've taken an Advil or you know Benadryl or something to kind of calm down the histamine reaction and you're just a little bit irritated or a little bit red still, you could get an over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream or a steroid and that's why you can call up telehealth or you can go to a clinic. But if you do have this like leftover irritation, consider using something like a cream that could help calm that down. The best thing you can do is heal up. Remember, you need to be applying a sunscreen, but pretty much nothing else. Nothing overly occlusive. If you do start to blister, see a doctor. Don't let it scar, don't pop it. If you're not blistering and it's just red, again, basic sunscreen. And I would recommend a mineral slash inorganic sunscreen. Chemical and organic sunscreens are completely safe, but they can sting and burn some people. So if you use a mineral slash physical filter, that's probably going to be your best bet. It's going to be the most soothing on the skin and non-irritating, and it still protects you from damage from the sun. And honestly, even better than a mineral sunscreen at this point would be wearing a hat, wearing a face mask, covering things up. As you start to heal up, you can use something like a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. Sometimes if you've overburned or overstripped the skin, uh, your skin barrier is damaged. It can be a little bit dry. Using a hyaluronic acid or a very basic oil moisturizer, shea butter is really good. Silicones are excellent. Just make sure that it doesn't have fragrance, no exfoliating acids. You might even want to avoid ingredients such as vitamin C or vitamin B like niacinamide at this point. Keep it super, super basic and look for glycerin and dimethicone and just some of these hydrating, soothing ingredients. Then weeks later, you can actually go in with ingredients like vitamin B or vitamin C. Vitamin C has actually been shown to help speed up wound healing. And as long as the skin is not open or blistered or like raw, vitamin C would be really good to apply. It can help to stop pigmentation from setting in. So if you're prone to hyperpigmentation or if when your skin is waxed or damaged, it pigments, you can avoid some of that patchy pigmentation with something like vitamin C or tyrosinase inhibitors. But vitamin C can help your skin rebuild collagen and really hopefully help speed up this wound healing process. And hyaluronic acid can also help with the wound healing process. So a week later, once the skin is starting to heal up, it's a good idea to add those back in. If you're peeling, do not pick. If you're peeling, see an expert. And one of the best things you can do through this entire process is take pictures. Take pictures the moment it happens. Take pictures an hour later. Take pictures every single day. And that way, if you do develop a blister, if you do develop hyperpigmentation, if you get a scar, you can actually take those photos to a dermatologist and show them exactly what's happening. So they can see like, did you have a histemic reaction and you have urticaria and like an allergic reaction? Or was this acne and pimples that flared up for some reason? Or did you have underlying rosacea that you didn't know about and it turned into pustules? A dermatologist is the one who's going to treat and diagnose those and having photos of these incidents as they unfold is going to be the best thing. Remember, this is not to scare you. This bad boy does not do something for some people like myself and for others, it is intense. But whether it's this or another chemical peel, which honestly, this is kind of the protocol for minor chemical peel burns or major, major sunburns. It's important that you know about these protocols, some of these steps that you can take so that you can treat your skin its very best in case something bad happens. So send this to yourself, save it for later, stay hydrated, especially if you're burned, and always remember to reapply your SPF as well as being beautiful both inside and out. I love you and your freshly exfoliated epidermis, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.